Hi guys, in this video, let us see how to write multiple joins in SQL with the help of a scenario. In this video, we will be seeing this requirement to display the product name, product category, subcategory name and cell date together in the output. So the output should be displayed in this format. So the name should be there in the output and the category name of the product, the subcategory name of the product and the cell date. So these four information we need in the output. So this is the requirement for today which we are going to solve. For this we are going to use these three tables. So the given tables are product, product subcategory and product category. So these are the three tables using which we need to display this four information that is product name, category name and subcategory name of the product and the cell date of the product. These four column names we need to display in the output. So let us see how to solve this scenario with the help of multiple joins in SQL. And if you want to learn more SQL scenarios like this, we have a free SQL course. So you can check out the link for the free SQL course in description. So let's get started now with this scenario. So let us first query the content in these three tables. So let me just write a select query so that I can explain the data in this tables. So if you query this production dot product table, you have this product name information and also if you scroll further, you have this cell date. So we have the cell date column. So these are the two information from the requirement. So if you see the requirement, right, we need like four information in the output to be displayed. So the product name and this cell date we can get from this table production dot product. So we have the cell date and this product name. Two columns we can get from this table production dot product. And if we query this table production subcategory, you can see we have the subcategory ID and the subcategory name. So in this requirement we need this subcategory name, right? So we can get this information from this table product subcategory. And if you query this third one, product category, you have this product category ID and the product category name. So this is the final information we can get from this table product category. So we can get two columns from this table product that is product name and cell date we can get from this production dot product table and the subcategory name. So in the requirement you can see subcategory name, right? So that one we can get from this table product subcategory and the final column products category name you can get from this third table product category okay so this is the required data which we need to get from this three tables i'll show you how we can write a multiple join using which we can get the required four columns for this requirement okay so first we will query these two tables okay production dot product and product subcategory so that we can get the required three columns because two columns we can get from this table and one from here and one from here. Let me write here. So by just joining these two tables, we'll get the required three columns. That is two columns from this table and one column from this table. So I'll show you how we can join this one using a inner join. So we're going to join this product table with this product subcategory. So let us give an alias for both these tables. We'll call this product table A and we call this product subcategory table as B. Okay. And here if you see, we are going to join them based on the common column between product and product subcategory. Okay. The common column between both these tables. So if you come to this table, you can see there is a common column between these two. So this is the product table from which we will get the name and the sales start date. But if we scroll further, you can see this product subcategory ID. This is the common column between this product table and the product subcategory table. So let me just run here, run this query. You can see here, right? This table also has this common column product subcategory ID. So the common column product subcategory ID we are going to use in the join condition. 
so a dot product subcategory that is product subcategory ID from table A and the subcategory ID from table B okay so we're going to do a join on this common column between these two tables product and product subcategory and we are going to get two column information from this product table right so let us see what is the column names the column name itself name okay so we'll just mention a dot name so we are mentioning a dot because we are referring this column name from this table a that is production dot product that's why we are mentioning a dot name and then if you scroll further the second column we can get from this table is cell start date so we'll get this column from this production dot product table cell start date we got it and if you see from this subcategory table right we can get one more column that is subcategory name so if you just query this you can see we have this column name so this is the subcategory name we have this subcategory id and also the subcategory name since we don't want the subcategory id in the output we just need the name we are going to just get this column information so since we are getting it from this table b that is product subcategory we are going to call it an alias b dot the column name so the column name is name so this is the subcategory name so here we have this a dot name so we don't want any confusion so let's give an alias for this column this is going to be subcategory subcategory name okay if you want we can give this as product name okay now you can see we got these two columns from table A that is production dot product and this column this subcategory name column from this table B that is product subcategory so let me just run this query and now you can see we got this product name cell start date from this first table that is production dot product table and the subcategory name we got it from this second table that is product subcategory okay so we got the three required columns out of the four so we got all this three the only thing we need is product category name okay so this product category name we can get from this table product category query this one and you can see we got this category name so we have this product category id and product category name we are not interested in this category id as per the requirement so we just need this category name okay if you see this category id is common to both this table product category and product subcategory see you got this product category id in this subcategory table this category id will be in this category table also okay so this id is going to be the common column to both this tables subcategory and category okay so we are going to join these two tables based on this common column product category id okay so if you see here we already mentioned this table that is product subcategory as alias b right we already like joined it with table a so what we are going to do is we are going to join this one product category with this table that is table b so to do that we are going to use another join keyword in the join and this is the third table we are going to join And for this we'll give an alias a C and we are going to join based on the common column here so if you see the common column between B and C is going to be product category ID so let us refer the product category ID from table B using the alias B B dot product category ID equals so from table C we are going to get the product category ID so C dot product category ID here I need to include this uh, schema name also so production dot so let me just copy this so now this is the table name production dot product category okay so now we can get the fourth column that is category name from this table C product category C dot the name and that is going to be the category name so when you run this one you can see we got this product name 
and sell start date from this table production dot product and then we got the subcategory name from this table product subcategory and we got this category name from this product category table so to get this four information we did a join between product and product subcategory based on the common column that is product subcategory ID between both these tables and then to get this category name we join this category table that is product category table with product subcategory based on this common column product category ID between both these tables that is product subcategory and product category okay so here if you see we have joined like three tables using two joints so this is called a multi join in SQL and now if you come to this requirement we are able to display the product name and the product category and the subcategory and the cell date we can just like interchange these columns which is getting displayed as per the requirement so if you come to the requirement we need category name subcategory and cell date right so let me just move this column name Now, if you come to this requirement, we got this product name, product category name, product subcategory name here, and the cell date all together in the output. So, in this way, we can write multiple joins in SQL for the given requirement. Thanks for watching this video.